the girl told me yesterday to like <laughs> shake it out. Hi, Apartment Therapy. My name is Shelly Worrell. And my name is Jean-Luc Stanislas. Welcome to our 2600 square foot home in Flatbush, also known as Little Caribbean, in the heart of Brooklyn, New York. I would describe my style as eclectic. The Caribbean is, is a huge source of ins inspiration. It's really an extension of like my personality and, and definitely an expression of culture and heritage. I think that we put a lot of our soul in the house and it's really colorful, vibrant, and it also represents who we are as Caribbean people. One of my favorite features of the house and one of my proudest things are these doors. I feel like the doors are unique and special. They're colorful. They're just everything that I wanted them to be. This is the living room. I love it. The larger sofa is where I take naps. I love my new shell pillow, the turmeric color. It just makes me so happy. And it reminds me of my name, Shelly. The um, end tables are both Jamaican coffee barrels. And um, a lot of my art actually is Haitian art. Off of the living room, um, then you step into the parlor. I have a vintage bench that I found at a yard sale for like 20 bucks. This is where my Afro pick collection is. Wherever I went and I see a wooden pick, I would actually buy them until I had too many. So I just was like, let's put them on the wall. I have a lot of collections of things. So I, I have a collection of vintage glasses, which I really, really love. We collect Caribbean rums. I like rum, so it's important to just like taste the islands. You can go island hopping. Over time, I've also collected family passports. Both my grandmothers are there, my parents are there, I'm there. Um, I have aunts, uncles, and cousins um, on the wall as well. It's a part of like my immigrant story. It's like a family tree of sorts. This is the main bedroom, and you can see there are very neutral colors. That's very intentional because I wanted it to be a calming space. There's just one needlepoint. It was actually done by my grandmother, and it says, love one another. When you step past the parlor, you're in the dining room where it's all enveloped with wainscoting. The dining room table is a door that used to be between the kitchen and the dining room. And I thought that made the house feel really closed and even darker. One day I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna make this a table. Mm -hmm. And so I just bought some Ikea legs and purchased some glass and put it on top. Pairing that with like wishbone chairs, that really elevates it. I've been hosting quite a few dinner parties in there and they just feel really grown up and sexy and I, I love it. I spend most of my time in the kitchen in the garden room. You know, I love cooking. Cooking is really therapeutic for me and it's a way for me to sort of disconnect from work. And off the kitchen is my favorite room. It's an informal dining room. I call it my garden room and the reason why I call it a garden room is because it on looks my, my rear garden, which is really, it's really beautiful. I'm the founder and creator of Caribbean as well as Little Caribbean NYC. Flatbush is home to a very large and diverse community of um, people from the Caribbean. We celebrate and amplify the black owned businesses in the neighborhood and the community. So, you know, we just love it here. I love the garden. On the right, it's all herbs and some tomatoes. And out of the compost this year is growing a butternut squash. Her name is Sasquatch. I love when the birds come to visit. I know that sounds corny, but um, the cardinals especially. The best advice is to actually surround yourself with things that you love. Not be afraid to take chances and put things together that you don't think go together because they probably will. For me, my home is my sanctuary and I think it's really important for you to have a space where you can actually recharge your batteries and, and that is definitely this space. People always tell us that when they're coming in they just like feel at ease. They never want to leave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's really, it's really calming. I love it here. I love my neighborhood. I feel like home is, is Flatbush. Home is Little Caribbean. Yeah.